All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing the PSA dagger. Uh, this particular dagger uh, does ship in this soft case. You've got a little front pocket for any uh, range cards or uh, anything like that. It does zip open. And then inside of here, you're gonna have three mag pouches and then this smaller pouch over here, you can stick a bottle of lube or something like that in there. Up top, you're gonna have another clear pouch right here. First is gonna be your RMR cover plate. So this can slip on the slide whenever you're not uh, using an RMR mounted to it. You also get two stickers. You get the Palmetto State Armory logo sticker that you typically get with anything you buy from them, as well as a PSA dagger sticker. And the manual. So this is not a specific manual to the um, one with the SW1 slide, but this is a pretty good manual. It's got nice black and white photos, red warning text, and in the back, a parts breakdown. Also in here, you're gonna get one Magpul PMAG, GL9, 15 round magazine. These are awesome mags, uh, seem to work in any of my Glock fed uh, firearms. And these feature a dot matrix on the bottom so you can label them and an orange follower on the top. Let's get the bag out of the way and then we'll start discussing the handgun itself. All right, got that bag out of the way. As always, we are gonna start with some close-up shots. So you can take in some of the minor details here. This has quickly become probably one of my favorite handguns. Uh, I personally own one, and uh, I, I typically don't like to give my opinion on handguns here, uh, mainly just go over features and details, but uh, this has really become one of my favorites. So we'll start with the barrel first. The barrel featured here is a 4.5 inch, one in 10 twist, stainless steel, and it's coated in a DLC or diamond-like coating. The muzzle here is gonna be threaded half by 28, and it comes with both an O-ring and a thread protector. Underneath the barrel is gonna be a stainless steel guide rod. Right here. Very cool that they don't uh, just throw, you know, your standard polymer guide rod in the box. All right, so the slide. The slide is gonna be constructed of stainless steel and it's gonna feature an FDE Cerakote. And if you've never seen uh, Cerakote from Palmetto State Armory, they do a fantastic job. It's a very smooth finish. Nothing looks like it's undersprayed, oversprayed, or uh, some dry spray. Uh, typically with dry spray, you'll see like little spots and it'll feel kind of like a rough texture, kind of like the polymer looks right there. But yeah, they do a fantastic job with Cerakoting. So the SW1 slide, there's an SW1 and an SW2. The only difference between them is going to be the type of uh, red dot cut. The two is going to feature a doctor uh, style red dot cut, and this one, the SW1, is going to feature an RMR type cut. So the other thing it features is the extreme carry cuts. So essentially what the carry cuts are, how those are marketed, as uh, these angled uh, surfaces right here, and then the extreme carry cuts is going to feature those angled surfaces in the front, and that's going to aid in both holstering, uh, preventing snags on clothing when unholstering, and again, unholstering the handgun, it's gonna assist there as well. Also here is gonna be some window cuts on the side. That's gonna lighten the total weight of the slide itself. And then an odd design choice, uh, I, I particularly like it, that Palmetto went with their red dot slides, is the choice of moving the rear iron sight forward of the red dot rather than in the rear you see a lot of times. And so what that does is it allows you to use both the red dot and the iron sights. The rear one is going to be an Ameriglow 
suppressor height sight. No night sights here. Uh, no serrations on that sight either, so it's just a solid black rear notch sight. And then the front is going to be a, an Ameriglo sight as well, suppressor height. No night sight there, and it is serrated in the front. So the frame is constructed of polymer, and it features one of my favorite uh, grip angles, and just the way that it feels in the hand is, is very nice. It's got a subtle swell right here, and then a also a hump right here in the back, and a very slight finger groove right here in the front. The grip texturing is, I wouldn't put this as aggressive or anything like that. It's a it's a very nice grip texture and I like how far up it goes. It goes onto the thumb and then all the way right here. So you get a really nice uh, feel for the gun when you're holding it. And then on the bottom, there is gonna be a slight, I guess you could call that a finger groove because your, your pinky kind of rests right on top of that. Up front is gonna be a one section Picatinny rail. So the controls, very familiar controls. If you've ever used one of these or any Glock uh, Gen 3 type firearm, uh, you're gonna have your non-ambi slide stop, slide release, takedown lever in the front, non-reversible magazine catch mag release. The thing that's different on daggers is gonna be the hinged trigger design over the blade uh, trigger safety. So with this, if you attempt to fire it just from the top, you're going to get caught right there on the frame. You actually have to actuate this hinge in order to move the block out of the way to pull the trigger. So we'll get a close-up of the trigger pull. So there's all your play right there, and you hit a pretty solid wall, a little bit of creep, and a break right there. And here's your reset right there and the brake. All right, so that is all for the PSA or Palmetto State Armory dagger. If you guys have any questions on this or anything else, uh, just drop a comment down below. Thank you for watching.